the dad from that bird book? You mean to kill a mockingjay? Yeah! Hungry Dave! When I graduated from college, I played a a part in a Liz Merriweather play. She, the Liz Merriweather created the new girl. Um, called he, the play was called Hedatron. It was sort of like Hedda Gabler with robots, like actual robots. And I played uh, Elsa, like the kitchen slut, uh, who was in love with Ibsen. And from there, I just started, you know, getting a lot more theater roles in New York, and that kind of kick-started the whole thing. When I lived in New York, I would do a bunch of plays with this playwright, Nick Jones, who is hilariously funny and just like a brilliant guy. And then he got a job writing for Orange is the New Black. And so when, uh, he told me about the role and about the audition. Um, and then that's kind of how that all happened. One of the things you should know is like, it's always happening. It's like you maybe in class you know, with a friend who becomes like a writer or director and puts you in something. Or maybe you and your friend, you know, make a, a short or a web series and, and that becomes something. But everything is like leading you down that path and every everything you're doing is like part of your journey and you should like really enjoy it. These people, these relationships you're making, your friendships, your collaborators, like you're all kind of moving up together. And like, this is like a collaboration, you know, it's not just about you. Some of the best times I've had acting have been in class, have been like free plays that I did, have been like just little moments, you know, and that that means just as much to me as the stuff that I've done that I've been paid for. The main thing I've learned here is, I think it's just like trust. I've studied all these places and I try to learn, I've tried to, try to figure thing every everything out and figure out how you act and what you do and and so I've tried a lot of different things but I do think like the best approach is usually just like kind of get out of your head and just play. I found that the more homework I do and planning I do, you know, like I always want to be you know, like I want to be perfect and I want to know what I'm doing and this that's kind of been the way that I had tried to like control, you know, my fear about acting. I feel like the more I do that work, the more I'm in my head and the more it's just god awful. So when you really just approach it from a place of kind of like trust and surrender and just playfulness, just being in the moment and, and seeing what happens with your partner, it's not really about you and you don't really have the responsibility of the scene. It's about what's going on with the other person. That's where like these things just come alive. <laughs> the more cold reading I do, the more I realize like this is like really where the fun is. It's just kind of like letting go and not having anything to hold on to and just really being in the moment. Actors are smart and when you read a script, a lot of that you get immediately. You just get it, it's in there, it's in your subconscious, you understand the scene, like you don't need to think too hard about it. You can go for it and it'll be there. And of course there are layers, you know, to acting, but like you just, the most important thing is just getting out of your head, being in the moment and just kind of trusting that something is gonna happen and you don't have to like make it happen or control it, you know, or show it. I think it's brought some of the best work out of me, for sure first episode I was on it was like I had like two lines you know and I thought it was just gonna be like one episode with two lines um, I had no idea it was gonna turn into you know all these seasons my first day on set of the or of Orange is the New Black was like my first day ever on a real TV set one of the PAs immediately thought that I was like an extra so like tried to send me down they sent me down holding and I was like oh okay and then they figured out I wasn't an extra and then they're like no 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 oh no wait no you have like a room I'm like so sorry I'm so sorry I'm like uh, okay but meanwhile I'm having like a heart attack because I just don't know what's happening and like you know I feel like I'm like going in for an execution or something I'm so nervous you know <laughs> being on set in a show is very it's actually really easy. It's like the easiest thing that ever, like ever when it comes to acting. Maybe part of it was that we had like kind of fun comedic roles, but we were just, you get really used to being in character, like you get used to being on camera, like all that anxiety, like after a certain amount of time, it's just gone. Like I'm more afraid to come do a scene in class than I am to be like on set because you're just like, this is what I do, yeah, we do this, like we've done this a million times, like who cares, you know? And that's when like the good acting comes out. And you know you have, we didn't do a lot of takes on Orange, we'd probably do like two or three, 
you know, so it wasn't a lot, but it was still like, oh, well, if it's terrible, let's do another one. They're not gonna like let us look bad, you know? Like it just, it's fun. They like feed you a lot of food. Like you're just like eating, shoving your face with candy, like hanging out with your friends. It's like being in a sleepover. Like being an actor on a show is a cushy job. I will say that. It's an easy job. It's everything else about being an actor that's very difficult. <laughs> but being on a show is not difficult. It's fun.